I'm Dennis Mark, President of DeMartech. In today's video, we compare a high-performance fiber channel switch with a unified port switch. One of the choices confronting data center customers is the choice between purpose-built fiber channel switches and general-purpose unified port switches. A dedicated fiber channel switch is optimized for block-based fiber channel storage applications and provides proven availability and performance. Unified port switches are a new class of switching infrastructure that provides multi-protocol flexibility and switch consolidation. Brocade commissioned DeMartech to evaluate the fiber channel performance of two different switches. The Brocade 6510 16-gig fiber channel switch and the Cisco Nexus 5548 UP general purpose switch. First, let's examine the physical and environmental characteristics of the two switches. The Brocade switch supports fiber channel speeds up to 16 gig per second while the Cisco switch currently supports fiber channel speeds up to 8 gig per second. While both switches support a total of 48 ports, the Brocade switch is smaller and consumes less power. The two switches are designed differently. The Brocade 6510 is designed so that all 48 ports are accessible on the main board and can run at full line rate simultaneously. The Cisco Nexus 5548 UP has a main board with 32 ports and an expansion unit with 16 ports. The unified ports on the Cisco switch can be configured for 10 gig Ethernet or 8 gig fiber channel. We ran a series of tests measuring the latency of various combinations of fiber channel switch ports. For these tests, we used special fiber channel test equipment from Spirant to drive workloads through the switches. For the first set of tests, we ran full duplex traffic from one set of four ports to another set of four ports on the switch. For the first run, we chose all ports on the same port group and for the second run, we chose ports that were in different port groups. Because the Cisco switch has a main board and an expansion board, we had to run extra tests for the Cisco switch. For the next set of tests, we ran half duplex tests with three ports communicating to one port. This traffic pattern is typical of multiple servers communicating with one storage target, or one server communicating with multiple storage targets. Power consumption is becoming increasingly important in data centers. We measured the power consumption of each switch twice. Once with one power supply connected and again with two power supplies connected. To get the full report with the rest of the results, please visit our website at www.demartech.com or search for Demartech Brocade Latency Evaluation in your favorite search engine. While you're on our website, have a look at our other reports, evaluations, and deployment guides. We also invite you to sign up for our free monthly newsletter. I'm Dennis Martin and thanks for watching.